help them in their time of weariness lift their spirit so god right now send every angel that is assigned to them and this assignment right now to minister to them What's up? It's your girl Sherry Ann. I'm here. I'm back with a quick word. For those of you who are tuning into this channel for the very, very first time, I want to welcome you to the channel. And I also want to welcome you to be a part of this family. So listen up, guys. I have a quick word. God has spoken. He has sent me here to speak to many of you. I know many of you are in that state of feeling like quitting you're weary you're broken you are just you just want to give up i've come to speak to those of you who are feeling that way god have sent me to encourage some of you today glory be to god god is saying that quitting is not an option for you he's saying that quitting is not an option for you you cannot quit you cannot quit you are called to the assignment. You are called to the assignment. And he wants you to complete the assignment. Complete the assignment. It is not about you. Yes, I've come to tell you it is not about you. It is about those who, who are waiting on you. It is not about you. It is those whom are waiting on you. God have chosen you for the assignment and he wants you to complete it. And so he's saying to get back to work. He's saying to get back to work. I know you are weary. I know many of you are weary, but God is saying to continue the assignment, continue the assignment. You can decide, hey, I'm halfway through. I'm going to give up. I'm going to stop. God is saying no no you don't get to choose that option to quit you don't get to choose to quit quitting is not a part of the, the assignment quitting is not a part of the assignment and he's saying this to someone i don't know who this word is for but someone you are at the lowest time you're weary you're tired you want to give up you want to throw in the towel but god is saying you cannot throw in the towel many behind you are waiting on you there are many that are waiting on you and god have chosen you for the assignment and so this is not an option you have started you have to complete it glory be to god glory be to god you have to continue he gave me second chronicles 15 7 and it says but as for you be strong and do not give up for your work will be rewarded God is saying that your work will be rewarded your time your efforts will be rewarded he himself is going to reward you glory be to God he gave me first Corinthians 9 24 and it says do you not know that in a race all the runners run but only one gets the price the price will be given to you child of God if you do not give up continue to fight continue to move forward God is with you he is with you. He's right by your side. He says he will never leave you nor forsake you. He's walking you through the process. He's taking you through the process. The enemy will not devour you because you have the protection of the Lord. You were called to the assignment. And so God have equipped you and he have given you all the tools, everything that you need for the assignment. He also gave me Galatians 6, 9 and it says, let us not become weary in doing good for at proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up if we do not give up we will reap the harvest and this harvest is pertaining to your family members those that are coming after you it pertains to your generation this pertains to many souls that will be saved this is pertaining to many um that will receive the testimony your testimony and they too will pass it on and on and on he's dependent on you child of god you cannot turn back you cannot give up and so he sent me to give you this encouragement to encourage you today and i just want to say a quick pray for you heavenly father we thank you for your word and we thank you oh god we thank you oh god for speaking to me and we thank you that your child your children have received this word 
Father, I ask that any weapon formed against this word shall not prosper, and every tongue that will rise against this word in judgment shall be condemned. We shut the voice of the enemy right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every accuser to this word, we shut it down right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And so, Father God, I ask that you would forgive your daughter, forgive your son for just wanting to give up or for leaving the assignment. And so, Father God, they will be back on it. They will be back on it as your word have gone forth. And I ask, oh God, that you will give them the strength, help them in their time of weariness, lift their spirit. So God, right now, send every angel that is assigned to them and this assignment right now to minister to them. Help them, oh God. And God, I ask, oh God, that you will deposit your strength in them for we cannot do this without you. We need your strength. We need your help, oh God. And so we look to you, Father, today for help. We ask, oh God, that every enemy that is coming, opposing them, Father God, that you will take care of our enemies. For you said in your word that the enemy will come before us one way and they will flee seven different ways. And so we come against every evil spirit. We come against every controlling mind that are telling them to turn back. Right now, we shut the voice of the enemy and we hear only you, God. And you are saying to continue to fight until we come to completion. And so, Father, we thank you for doing it. We thank you for helping us. We thank you for strengthening us because you said in your word, Father God, that it is not by might nor by power, but by your spirit. And so we ask, oh God, that your spirit will be strong within us. We ask that your Holy Spirit take over and give us the strength and the energy we need to complete this assignment. We thank you, oh God, for doing it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, and we say amen and amen. Child of God, go forth. God is with you. He is with you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He has given you the strength and the energy to persevere. And so I command you to go forth and persevere. We are all in this together. Let's do what God has called us to do in Jesus' mighty name. Guys, I thank you for tuning in. Share this video with whomsoever you know needs to hear this. Please, please share. Thank you all for your generosity, for sowing so generously into this ministry. I appreciate your gifts. I appreciate you in Jesus' mighty name. So guys, love you. Stay tuned and be blessed. Until next time. Bye. Yeah.